Welcome to Fisher Toolbox Dog Training. Fisher offer a vast range of injection resin. Selection would depend on your application and also design requirements. In this session, we will demonstrate correct installation of injection resin FISV Plus in solid building materials such as concrete or solid masonry. FISV Plus is high performance hybrid vinyl ester resin. It offers excellent bond strengths, so it's a good option for applications where high loads are required. It has European Technical Approval Option 1 for crack concrete, ETA for masonry and also post-installed rebars. When resin has an ETA, it doesn't mean all stud diameters are approved. For FISV Plus, ETA range is good. M8 to M30 resin studs and rebar up to 28mm diameter are approved in both cracked and non-cracked concrete. New ETA assessment offers an extended working life of 100 years, so it's a perfect option for infrastructure projects. FISV Plus has also seismic C1 and C2 and also ICC approvals. In concrete applications, two hours fire resistance classification can be achieved. This resin is approved also for water-filled holes, which is great advantage for external applications in bad weather. With resin anchors, correct hole cleaning is essential, otherwise the resin would bond to the drilling debris. Load capacity of some resin anchors installed in unclean holes can be reduced by up to 75% and even you can have the failure like this. Therefore, it's always vital to have correct installation accessories. So now let's have a look what we need for correct installation of FISV plus injection resin in solid materials. We will be using side-by-side -side cartridge. So this is the correct dispenser, FISDMS. Then you will need obviously resin studs or internal threaded resin anchors. In this case, we'll be demonstrating resin studs. We have two options. You can use RGM resin studs, which are chamfered, or you can use straight cut FISA resin studs. Correct drill bit, PGA marked. For drill hole cleaning, you will need blowout pump and metal BS brush. So for holes larger than 16 mm diameter or deeper than 12 times that diameter, you will need for hole cleaning this compress air gun, which is used with six bar oil-free compressor. If you are using Fisher hollow drill bits, with Fisher vac, hole cleaning can be omitted. And also, to finish the installation, you will need calibrated torque wrench with correct diameter deep socket. And we offer also some additional installation accessories. For example, if you are drilling more than 150 mil, you will need FIS extension tube, if you are going overhead, we are offering also the centering sleeve, which will help you to hold the stud overhead. And of course, also spare nozzles are available. So before we do an installation, we need to check we have correct system as specified. For that, you can refer to project specification. And if you have Fisher CFIX design report, in the report, you will see the specification very clearly specified there with correct article numbers. And at the end of the report, you will find also very useful list of required installation accessories, including article numbers. So that is very useful for, for example, procurement purposes. Also, you have more guidance about correct installation steps. We need to check resin is in date. That is very clearly stated here on a cartridge and also check the specified limit of ambient temperature and also curing times. Very useful installation leaflets are supplied with the product, one leaflet per each cartridge in a box. And in these leaflets, you will see very clear installation instructions and also guidance, for example, what is the correct um, BS um, metal cleaning brush or for example, what is the installation torque for specific 
start diameter you will be installing. All this will help you to install anchors safely and correctly. And now we need to make sure we have the correct PPE. And now we are ready to do the installation. So we need to mark the position of the hole. Also observe the minimum allowable edge distances for FISV M10 resin stud, it would be 45 millimeters. Observe the specified embedment depth and mark your drill bit or set your drill stop to the correct length. Now what is important is to clean the hole correctly. So for that, we will need a blowout pump. Four times to blow it out. Then correct uh, BS metal brush. Four times brushing, as per recommendation. And again, we need to blow it out four times. This cap will help to deflect any debris back to the surface. So hole has been correctly cleaned. We have to mark the resin studs to the correct embedment depth. Perfect. And ready to inject the resin. You can reuse the cartridge, um, just you need to use a new nozzle. And I'll be using this good quality dispenser, FISDMS. We can't inject the resin straight to the hole. We have to check for correct mixing ratio. So we need to discharge approximately 10 centimeters of resin around two trigger pulls until we have even gray color. And at this point, we can inject the resin to the hole. We will start from the bottom of the hole and Going slowly upwards, try to not to trap air. You will fill the hole approximately two thirds and then immediately insert the resin stud by slow rotation action. It's better to overfill the hole than underfill it and make sure the stud is inserted deep enough so the full embedment depth is achieved. So you can wipe the excess resin now. And now we have to wait for resin to fully cure. Information about uh, full setting time is on a cartridge and also you can refer back to this leaflet. All information is there. Now the resin is fully cured, so we are ready to finish our installation. So we can fix our fixture and we have to apply the recommended installation torque. This is because uh, you need to clamp the base plate sufficiently, but also on the other hand, you don't want to overstress the anchor and you don't want to overstress the resin and damage the bond strength. So in this case, with M10 FISV plus resin anchor, we need to apply 20 Newton meters. Done. So quick summary of the main points. Use correct anchor as specified, correct type, diameter and length. Have correct tools and all installation accessories. Check resin is in date. Check temperature of the base material and resin cartridge is within the recommended limit. Use PGM quality drill bits which are not worn. Check for the wear marks. Drill to the correct diameter and specify depths. Clean a hole correctly following installation instructions supplied with the resin. If using hollow drill bit, cleaning of the hole can be omitted. Discard approximately two trigger pulls of resin to ensure correct mixing ratio. Inject sufficient amount of resin into the hole. Insert resin stud, making sure full embedment depth is achieved. Allow sufficient curing time depending on the temperature. And remember, in wet holes, curing time must be doubled. Tighten to the specified installation talk. And for any further details or assistance, contact Fisher Technical Helpline on 01491 827920.
visit our website at fisher.co.uk or download Fisher Professional app. Thank you for watching.